And now we turn to positive signs today that the battered U.S. economy has entered a new year. In this first week of 2013, the Dow closed today up nearly 500 points, thanks in part to the new jobs report. And 155,000 jobs were added last month. Unemployment steady at 7.8 percent. And ABC's business correspondent, Viana Golodriga, is here to tell us. So, Viana, where do we stand tonight? Diane, I'm feeling a little bit better tonight than I did a few months ago. Over the past 12 months, we've averaged about 150,000 jobs each month. Obviously, we'd like to see more than that. But amongst economists and experts I speak with, there really is a sense that momentum is on our side, and 2013 could see a continued recovery. With Wall Street capping off its first week of the new year with the bang, closing at a five-year high, and with that news today that despite all the worry over Washington and looming tax increases, December saw hiring, this year is off and running. Last month's hiring was especially strong in health care and construction. But digging into those numbers, we can now see some clear lines to where the hot jobs of 2013 will be. Topping the list, home health care services, up 9% since 2010. 25-year-old Tiffany Fields started working as a home aide in April. In this economy, she never dreamt she could find a job so quickly. We graduated, we got jobs, started making money, happy about that. Also, nurse practitioners will be in high demand as more Americans gain health care coverage with the new federal health care law phasing in. So where are the hot spots geographically? Detroit, for one. Yes, Detroit. Anyone looking for a job making cars, the Motor City is the town for you. With Superstorm Sandy wrecking hundreds of thousands of cars, and auto sales at a five-year high, 2013 is expected to see an even bigger uptick in car buying. In the Northeast, Sandy also boosted home construction jobs. But there's also growing need in California and Arizona for contractors, master carpenters, plumbers, and electricians, all in places where homeowners are now more willing to spend money on their homes. And from San Jose, California to Austin and Houston, Texas. A lot of that's driven by the energy sector and technology sector. And again, we're expecting to see that continued growth in the years to come. And Diane, you don't have to wait for the monthly jobs report to gauge how the economy is doing. Two signs to look out for to see that this economy is real, really recovering. New restaurants opening up, consumers feeling more comfortable at going out and spending more money. And look for an increase in the housing market continuing to recover and home prices rising as well. So you'll see it in restaurants and home prices yeah. most strongly. Thanks so much, Bianca Goldriga. And now we